Alright, you guys still time for another video. This one is going to be on tires. Got the level kit in in the last video. Uh, so, tires aren't cutting it anymore. Uh, these are the factory Pro 4X tires. 275, 65, 18. They call this an all-terrain. I would not call it an all-terrain in my opinion. Um, the only thing all-terrain about it, I guess, would be this alternating stick out here on the side. Um, other than that, it's really not an all-terrain. Uh, let's see how close these grooves are. There's no kind of traction in that. At least not like your typical all-terrains where there's some, some voids in there. Also, you can see right here, stones, gravel, from there is even worse. Um, went on the Apopka Wildlife Drive with the family two weeks ago. I don't drive the truck all the time because it's not my main transportation, but you see the, see the gravel, see the rocks. They're just stuck in there all over the place. I haven't taken the time to go along with a screwdriver and dig them all out, but there's a lot. Uh, so, these are getting replaced tomorrow morning. Uh, can't stand the noise. They're actually very noisy, and I don't know. Part of it may be the tire. I've never really been a big General or Continental fan. Uh, but part of it may be the previous owner. I don't know if video will pick it up or not. Previous owner may not have rotated them on time. Uh, so when you run your hand along here, this drops down. These tires are cut just a little bit. And again, I don't know if you can see it in the video if it will come through or not, but each lug from here to here is raised just a little bit. It's like it on the front, it's like it on the back. Each lug is higher than the next lug. That's from lack of rotation. Other things can cause it too, if you misaligned or something like that, but typically it's from lack of rotating. If you rotate them on time, keep up with it. Shouldn't do that, um, but these have done it pretty bad, but I bought it that way, so I think it was just a previous owner. Um, so I actually have two sets of tires picked out. Um, should be at the tire shop in the morning, and then I'll decide which one I'm gonna put on once I get there. Uh, so stay tuned, let's see what the next tire is going to be. It is going to be one size larger, 275, 70, 18, which is one inch bigger overall diameter, so half inch top, half inch bottom. Um, but bring it back here in a, a few minutes when I get the tire shop in the morning and uh, give you a look at the, the two new options, let you know which one I'm going with. All right, welcome back. It's morning time. I'm on my way to the tire shop. I'm actually headed to uh, Mavis Tire. If you guys aren't familiar or haven't heard them that name, uh, at least in my area, it's new. Uh, Mavis has bought out all of the Action Gator Tire stores. So the store I'm going to is what used to be an Action Gator Tire store. Uh, now has become Mavis. Mavis also bought out uh, Tire Kingdom, but there are still some Tire Kingdoms around. They haven't changed the name over on all the Tire Kingdom stores yet. They're just, but they are owned by Mavis. Um, I've used Discount Tire a whole bunch of time. I like them. They're pretty professional. Never have any issue when I go there. So, uh, trying something different today, along with trying some different tires. Um, all my previous Fords, I've been a big fan of Nitto and um, Toyo for many, many years. And they do make great stuff. Here I am shooting a video. I'm not even wearing my seatbelt. It's pretty bad, y'all. Um, big fan of Nitto. I've run them for years and years and years. I've run Terra Grapplers, Trail Grapplers, several sets of Ridge Grapplers, and uh, Toyo AT3s. Um, great tires. Nothing bad to say about them. I just uh, I want to do something different this time. So that being said, I started shopping around, and I wasn't sure what tire I was going to go with if I wasn't doing the Nitto because that's what I always buy. Um, but I happened to go on Mavis tire website and saw a tire that I've never seen before, relatively new. Um, and that is the Mastercraft Courser Trail HD. I'll post a picture in here so y'all know what it looks like. Um, a good chunky meaty looking, uh, all-terrain, uh, with a good sidewall on it. it looks to be a pretty attractive sidewall. 
Um, so I saw it on their website at not a bad price, price point. And I had just about made up my mind that that was a tire I was going to go with. Called around a couple different places, got a couple different prices. Uh, so I decided to call Mavis. And over the phone, as I'm talking to the guy, the price just kept going down. And then it kept going down. And I was like, man, you're doing me a really good deal. Um, I felt like I was talking with somebody off Facebook Marketplace because the price just kept lowering. Uh, at any rate, I made a decision. They, they went ahead and got them on order uh, to come in and set an appointment. And I got off the phone, but I kept browsing. And then I saw that the new BF Goodrich KO3 is now available, at least in, in a couple sizes. There's only like four or five sizes that are released. They're in the process of making all the rest of the sizes, but they won't be out for a while. Uh, but in the 275, 70, 18 that I was looking at, they were available and uh, they had done such a good price on the Mastercraft as far as the price kept going down. So I called him back and uh, got somebody different on the phone, but the same thing happened. They, uh, they kept lowering the price, they kept lowering the price. Um, so they got it low enough. It's, it's not as low as the Mastercraft, but they got it low enough to keep me uh, interested in it. And uh, so they went ahead and ordered a set of those too. So should be two sets of tires there. And uh, I'll take a look when I get there and decide at that point which which tires I'm going to go with. But I'll, I'll uh, show you all both tires once I get there so you get a, a look at what they look like. But I'll pull it in here in just a minute. Put the video back on once I got something else good to show you. Welcome back, y'all. Uh, it's actually the day after the install. Got the tires done yesterday. Um, I'm back again today because the alignment was a little bit off. It drove straight, but the steering wheels were crooked. So I had to come back today, back in the shop. I didn't film anything yesterday because it was pouring down rain. So, uh, back in the shop today, I will show you real quick tires I did not go with. It's just sitting right here in the bay. They still got them sitting here. Um, and that would be the Mastercraft. This is them right here. Good looking tire, just for the BFGs instead. What I did go with is the BFGs. On the truck. More to come of those later. Um, but like I said, I'm trying to send glasses. It's bright out here. Uh, didn't film anything yesterday. Pouring down rain. Um, not the most happy with here. I don't think I'd come here again. Just uh, like I said, I've always used discount in the past. And um, it's my first time using Mavis. Um, had an appointment time, got here. I was here for more than three and a half hours, which is uh, a little too long for a tire install. And just to check the alignment. The alignment was a little bit off, uh, probably from the level kit, not anything serious. But uh, over three and a half hours I spent yesterday with an appointment. Um, and now I'm back today because the steering wheel is not way off, but like, I don't know, 15 degrees maybe to the left, which maybe I'm being nitpicky, I don't know, but it's perfectly straight before and then, you know, you know I meant, and then it's crooked. Uh, I don't know, that's not okay. So I'm back here today. Hopefully they'll make it right in one shot and I won't have to come back for a third time. But I'll show you more on the uh, the BFGs once I get out of here and get done. We'll pick back up more. All right. Finally done, back home. Everything done, all total about four and a half hours between the initial install and having to go back so they could fix the alignment again. Finally done. Well, here they are. These are the new tires. BF Goodrich KO3. Good looking tires. BFG's been around a long time. I know the brand is solid. Uh, KOs have been around forever. Uh, then they went to the KO2s 20 years ago when I first started in the in the tire business. 
Uh, we were selling KO2s back then. Tire really hasn't changed in 20 years. Uh, they finally have updated a bunch of new stuff on it and came out with the KO3s. Uh, there's only a couple sizes available right now, but in the next, uh, throughout the end of this year and into next year, 24 and 25, they're gonna roll out a whole bunch of different sizes to replace the KO2s. But for now, just a couple sizes. Got my hands on one of the new uh, new sizes, 275, 70, 18s. And here they are, I'm pretty happy with them. Um, they changed the tread a little bit. I don't know if you're familiar with the KO2s at all. Um, made the uh, tread a little bit closer together. The voids are a little bit smaller than what they used to be. Um, should make it quieter. Uh, made the big channels for the water. Um, one going this way, the others go the other way. Um, it should be better for water evacuation. They have sipes, a lot more siping than the KO2s did. Um, going all the way across the tread box. Um, where I am, that'll help with the rain. Um, but you guys that are up north, uh, they are three peak uh, mountain snowflake rated. So they should be good in the snow and the ice. Um, down here though, more concerned with the rain. Um, stone ejectors in between the tread here. Uh, sidewall, they made a little more aggressive than the KO2s. I don't know how well it was showing the video, but these alternating lugs, um, there's quite a vast difference between here sticks out, this is um, caved in, this sticks out. The opposite here, this big lug sticks out where this is flat, sticks out, this is flat. Um, it's pretty predominant. And again, I don't know how well the, I don't know how well the video will pick it up, uh, but it's pretty predominant and it makes the sidewall look very attractive. Good looking tire. Um, they ride smooth, they ride quiet. Uh, we'll see uh, in the, uh, you know, next few months if they get any noise or anything, but for right now they're smooth, they're quiet. Um, pretty happy, they look really nice on the truck. Um, give it a, that pl OE plus type look. It's not jacked up, they don't stick out of the fenders, nothing like that. Um, just a little bit of a improvement on the overall look of the truck. A lot better, a lot better tread design and all. At any rate, like the tires, happy with the tires. Probably won't go back to Mavis again. Um, they were good on the price. And again, I needed to have the alignment checked. A lot of data, it was a little bit out. And that might be what was causing those Continentals to cup up and be so noisy. Um, so the alignment was a little bit off. That could be a little bit from the lift kit. Or the level kit, I should say. Um, or it may have just been off on its own. I don't know. But got that corrected, got it fixed. But like I said, the first time, steering wheel was... 15 20 degrees off to the left it rode straight but steering wheel crooked and that that bugged me so i had to go back today and have them fix that because that's just going to bother me if i leave it alone and don't fix it it's going to bother me so they fixed that took another extra i don't know 45 minutes to an hour today that i had to go back and wait while they redid what should have been done correctly yesterday uh, at any rate good price but I'm not sure that I'll go back. They took uh, took way too long yesterday. Three and a half hours is a bit excessive with an appointment. Um, doesn't take that long to change tires and to balance them. Um, so, probably go back to discount in the future, assuming I don't need an alignment or something different. Uh, but that's it for now. Uh, keep you posted in the future how, uh, how they're doing down the road, how they're wearing and all. But for right now, good looking tires. I'm happy. Till the next video. Love God. Love each other. Treat each other like you do.